Hi, I am Deva Pratim Ghosh of team 22-2 of IIT Bombay. My team members are Srinivas Rao, Santosh Waddy, P. Venkateshwar Reddy and Abhishek Main and we are going to demonstrate to you we are going to demonstrate to you the working of the problem statement of phase 1a which is that of an opam based non inverting differentiator we have first simulated our design and the simulations show us that the circuit will behave much like a resonator or a bandpass filter with the peak notch at 15 kilohertz with a maximum gain of around 65 dB. So let us see whether practically this kind of a response is verified or not. So as you can see, this is our uh, circuit which we have built up on the ASLV 2010 starter kit. Uh, we have used this function generator here to give a sinusoidal input, a regulated DC power supply of plus and minus 12 volts and an oscilloscope that shows us the input and the output waveforms. Uh, let us do a simple frequency sweep that shows us whether actually our circuit behavior is as expected or not. So I am now changing the frequency. As I am increasing the frequency, as we can see on the scope, the gain increases. Now. So, so, once again sweeping from 10 kilohertz, we see that the output waveform is increasing in amplitude and peaks up, as you can see, close to 14 kilohertz. Now, the input waveform has to be reduced slightly to avoid saturation. So, as you can see, the peak is somewhere around 13.9 kilohertz and now as and when we decrease, as and when we increase the frequency, the gain starts decreasing. So this verifies our expected output of a resonat resonating behavior. So coming to the challenges faced while implementing this circuit we see that the circuit at certain frequencies shows nonlinear behavior as in for example at 1 kilohertz or so we can see certain other harmonics in the output as well uh, upon considerable thought we could uh, think that uh, it is not because of the circuit but it could be because of the function gen generator itself no source can be a proper sinusoidal source so it is possible that at 1.2 kilohertz output there may be harmonics of 2.4, 4.8 as well and going by our seen behavior of a resonating, behavior, resonating type filter we see that those higher harmonics will now be amplified and they can be seen in the output. So this is one part of the challenge which we faced and which took us a lot of time to understand its reasons. Now why don't we see uh, harmonics at higher frequencies, say about 14 or 17 kilohertz, the reason is that say at a frequency of 14 kilo kilohertz, the harmonics such as 28 kilohertz or say 42 kilohertz, they are attenuated as expected in our design. Uh, they uh, fall in the decaying part of the frequency response, so which is why they are attenuated uh, and they are not visible in the output frequency as you can see the output clearly represents a good sine wave. Uh, so this challenge took us some time to figure out uh, why this is happening. So uh, thank you.